I'm Kirsty Meakin and in this video I'm going to show you how to use gel polish inside an acrylic nail but we're also going to add some detail of some frills on the nail. So I've already removed the surface shine from this nail and all I need to do now is just take down the length a little bit I'm going to sculpt this out we're going to do a gothic almond shape I'm going to wipe over with some acetone just to clean that off so I'm just going to dehydrate the nail then I'm going to put the acid free primer on I'm going to start with clear, putting that at the tip at that contact area. So I'm building out this structure quite thin, but I'm getting the shape. Now I'm going to use natural beige. I'm not going to do a smile line or anything, I'm just going to bring that down. And then I'm going to use gel polish. Got some gorgeous colours here. I've got this one, which is like confetti, I think I would call it. That's the number for that one. Then we've got a rose gold glitter. And then this one is like unicorn dust. <laughs> Anything that's iridescent <laughs> is unicorn now. I think it's iridescent in the dictionary will have um, a unicorn next to it. Yeah, definitely. So I'm going to put this glitter one on first, the, the sort of rose gold one. Nice and thin. Just using it for the sparkle more than anything. Don't want like a really thick, heavy coverage, we just want a nice, thin, sparkly coat. Now I'm going to use the one that I think is like pink confetti. I'm going to cure that. We're going to use, use the one that I've called you the corn dust. <laughs> I love layering glitters like this. You know when you can't pick what colour you want? <laughs> I just have them all! I'm going to pop a little bit more of the natural beige on. And just blend that down a bit. So we can't see that natural nail. Then we're going to use the clear and encapsulate the gel polish. I'm just going to take this form off. I'm going to do a little bit of hand filing first. Only a little bit around the sort of um, the free edge and the side wall. And then I'm going to use my electric file. I'm going to file the rest of the nail with a hand file 
doing the side walls, same routine as I always do. Side walls, cuticle area, free edge, cross the surface. Cross the surface and contour! With white acrylic, I'm gonna create some frill. This is high speed liquid. You're gonna press in in different sections like that, and then you're gonna flip this bit up. You've got to do these section by section. So I've done that bit, and I'm gonna do this bit here, connect them together. Don't forget, this is gonna move this way, so it looks high at the minute, but it's actually gonna move when I press it. Like a pair of bloomers. I'm gonna put a shorter one here. And I'm gonna do one more here. So see how I sort of faded that one out? This one's going to fade out up here. So using Builder Gel, I'm going to put a little line of it here. Just in, enough so these micro beads, just so they um, in the gel. So I'm just going over the top of those with the Urban Graffiti top coat. That'll seal them and make them last longer. And I'll also make them a bit shiny, shiny. So I'm gonna finish this nail just by putting a bit of cuticle oil on. It's all done, look at that. A bit gorgeous, a bit gorgeous. There you are guys, I hope you've enjoyed the frilly nail that I've just created, including the gel polish. Have a little go, have a try, comment below and tell me how you've got on. If you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe on all the products that we've used today are in the description box below. So all the gel polishes, the brand spanking new ones, they're all there, you can check them out. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!
There you are. I hope you've enjoyed that frilly nail. Fr fr frilly? Frilly. <laughs> Philly. Like Philly cheesesteak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs>